Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Brigitte from Paraprint. Do you want to 3D print fashion, but not too sure which of the 14 info types is right for your project? No worries, I'm trying and reviewing all of them. Today is the line info type from 5% to 90%. Let's take a look. For this video, I'm printing with the 70A Shore, yeah, 70A Shore hardness, which is different from the grit video, which is the, the yellow samples that are hanging here behind me, which is the 82A Shore hardness. That refers to how flexible the material is, and I was mainly interested to see how different that is for fashion. So we'll not only be reviewing the infill, but also a little bit of how much more flexible it is, because guys, this stuff is amazing. Let's take a look. So this is the 5% line and fill. Big difference between the line and the grit infill is that this is both 5%. So as you can see, the grit infill 5% is much bigger than the line. And I have a feeling that that's because if you go any bigger with this one, it just doesn't work anymore because it prints these first and then these in the next layer. So you have a lot less adhesion than you have in the grit infill. So with the grit infill, you can go much bigger. Even if you don't print that many layers, it's still possible to print very open. Whereas with the line infill, it just becomes very, very flimsy. So if you want to print anything quite open structure, I would go for the grit rather than the line. This is the 10%. And what's great for the 70A is that you can actually fold it in half and it stays like that. This a little bit less, but... This is the 20%. Easy to... I have a little bit of blue on the 82 Shore Hardness left. So I want to print one of the lining fills in that blue so you can compare really well with the 70A and the exact same print, but then in 82A. So if I were to just fold these, it makes a difference mainly in draping. I think that's the biggest change where the 82 is not able to drape and the 70A, at least in one direction, is able to actually drape and stay in that position rather than bounce back in, you know, your flat square that you printed. So that shows a little bit of the difference. If I just scrunch them up, it does go back to the same shape, but a lot less. And this one feels a bit more rough than this one does. This one feels a bit more textily. So if you were to print, for example, a t-shirt or something, I would go for the 70 rather than the 82, but for bags, shoes, 82, or even, I think it's 95, is way better. 30%. The 40%. And as you can see, if I put this down, you can see that there's a, a little bit of a pull here. That's because this is how I pulled it off the bill plate. And because of pulling like this, it actually stretched out a little bit and it's not coming back. With this material, if you stretch it beyond it means, and it can handle quite a bit, then it does get stretched out a little bit and it doesn't fully go back to the shape that it is. So especially when getting it off the build plate, be careful and try and pull it from two corners rather than just from one corner. 50%. 60%. 
it starts becoming a bit more plasticky from the 60% again, which is the same as the grits. But unlike the grits, even at 60%, you would already start seeing the weight filled in with the previous one. Here you don't quite see that. There's a little bit of it, but really not any. It's nicely transparent and just really, really gorgeous. Feels really nice. It's very stretchy. 70%. Can still fold it in half. Here we got the 80% and 90%. And interestingly enough, so this was what we talked about before, which is the lines where you can really see how it's been printed. The line infill doesn't quite have that. It has it a little bit, but it's a lot less visible than it is on the grit infill. So if you want to go for a really beautiful high infill prints, I would go with a line infill rather than the grit infill. My absolute favorite from the line infill is the 60%. I think this is just really gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous and still see-through, um, but not too much. And it just has this really nice, like, textly kind of feel to it. 20%. I think they're really gorgeous as well. I feel like it's quite similar to the grits. I would say there you get something like a similar feel and this shows already so much difference of how it is this one doesn't really this one just kind of even if i hold it like this nothing happens if i hold it like this it's just like that's it same thickness same print well pretty much this one's lined this one's great it's slightly different but um i look at that it's just so different all of this is fun, but what can you make with it? For next week, a little bit of a sneak preview is we're going to be looking at a 3D printed modular tote bag and how to make it, how to put it together, because especially the putting together is a little bit of a challenge. So the files for the bag are already on Thingiverse if you're very impatient. And then the next video, I'll explain how to actually 3D print fashion with the line infill. See you later.